Right now, I've got Stevie Nicks 24 karat gold movie review for ya, and was her biggest hit included in the movie? And will this be the future of concerts and how we're gonna see them? Well, I have at least one answer for you, so let's go. Geeky Classic Rock. For those of you who are new here, hi! Hello, hola, my name is Kiki and I love to talk about music, especially classic rock. I also just love to go back cause going back, it was so fun back there, wasn't it? Going back keeps all of us happy and just thinking about the good times. So if you're into all that stuff, go ahead and please hit the subscribe button down below as well as the like button and of course the notification ding dong bell cause that lets you know that this chick has uploaded a brand new video and that means I'm going back yet again. So come back with me, would you? But today we're gonna be here. We're gonna be here in the present and Stevie Nicks, is she not the queen of queens? The goddess of classic rock music. Pinnacle of what a true rock icon is. A few nights ago we went to see Stevie Nicks 24 karat gold movie. There are only two showings of this, so we were lucky enough to catch the first one and I gotta say, our movie theater, our local movie theater, did a great job keeping everyone socially distant. When the movie started, I immediately said, to myself, self, do you think this is how we are all going to see concerts in the future? Well, please stay until the end and I'll let you know what I think. Stevie Nicks 24 Karat Gold Tour originally kicked off in Phoenix, Arizona at the Talking Stick Resort on October 25th of 2016 and ended a little over a year later on November 24th of 2017. Stevie's camp had announced back in September that there would only be two showings of this movie on October 24th first of 2020 and then again on the 25th. So you did have two opportunities to check it out and hopefully you did. I personally had never had the honor of going to a Stevie Nicks concert. I had been to see Fleetwood Mac a few years ago so I was pretty excited to go and see this movie. A concert movie. Come on, it doesn't even feel like how it feels to be at a live concert but you know what? I am taking what I can get right now because myself as well as probably most of you haven't been to a concert in over a year. And come on, this is about Stevie Nicks. So I knew that no matter what, I would leave the theater feeling pretty dang happy. In this movie, there are a bunch of songs that I had never heard before and that was completely intentionally done by Stevie because she said that this was the time she was going to do songs that meant something to her. She was gonna do songs that she wasn't being told to do. She was doing songs that she wanted to do. And she also did say previously that she she dug deep into her gothic vault, pulled these out and put them in the tour. And honestly, totally glad she did. But hang tight and trust me, you do get all of the Stevie hits as well as some pretty epic stories. I do have to say that I already personally knew the stories behind Landslide and Stand Back because I've been talking about Stevie on the radio for years as well as talking about her here on YouTube. So I did know about them, but to hear Stevie actually tell the stories gives them a totally different meaning and just to hear Stevie say anything is fantastic. Stevie does tell a lot of stories throughout the film and I just have to say it gave it such a personal touch. I don't want to get into all of the songs that she sang and all of the stories that she did tell because maybe they will release a concert DVD of this or it'll be on demand or something to that effect. So why am I going to tell you all of it? You, you got to see the 24 karat gold movie yourself. And guys to hear Stevie talk you just want to hear her keep talking and singing and talking and singing because she's that cool. By the way, Stevie, call me. I would love to chat with you. I don't even have to chat with you. What I could do is just sit back and have you tell me your stories, but I, I couldn't do that. I would have to ask you a couple of questions, which, you know, hey, if, if that's all right, call me. The editing of the film was really phenomenal and everything was put together so well. The movie just flowed from beginning to end. And yes, yeah, Stevie is not live in front of us. Just the way it was put together together, produced, directed, everything. It just made it such an enjoyable film to watch. The movie ticket prices at my local theater for the Stevie Nicks 24 karat gold movie were $18 a piece. Pre this whole world event, ticket prices were just under $12. So there were people there paying the ticket price, the advanced and higher ticket price to go see the movie. I mean, come on, we did. The only thing that I would suggest as a potential change if movie theater 
theaters do provide the option of maybe keeping one theater set aside to show concert films in, I highly suggest getting a better sound system for that one theater. Cause the theater we were in, I mean, we're sound people. The sound was not fantastic, crisp. It didn't make you feel like you were right there. So theaters could definitely step that up a notch if this does become a thing. There's even the possibility that movie theaters may not even exist after this world event eventually fades away. So we just don't know where this all is gonna stand. I personally do see this as an amazing opportunity for filmmakers and artists and everyone behind the scenes because you could actually go to a concert without actually going to the concert and it still gets you out of the house. We know how that is right now. And I do have to say thank you very much to Stevie and Team Stevie for putting this out there. I think it was a great idea. And again, thank you for getting me out of my cave. I appreciate it. And just one more thing, near the end of the film, Stevie talks about living out your dreams. And that is exactly what she has done and what she is able to continue to do. And let's face it, isn't that what most of us are trying to do no matter what it is? We're trying to live out our dreams. And right now we have such an incredible opportunity to try to make our dreams come true. And whether Stevie likes it or not, she is a rock goddess. And I love you. So will this be how we're going to see concerts in the future? Maybe. I think that if artists can get together and do a concert without fans, put it on film and present it to all of us, I'm pretty sure we're gonna take what we can get at this point if that's the only option that we have. Come on, they're having sporting events without fans, so why not put on a concert without fans? Maybe. When Stevie filmed this concert, she was 68 years old. Today, as I film this video, she is 72. Have you guys ever looked at how high her shoes are that she wears when she's walking around on stage, twirling around on stage, dancing around on stage? If I literally put on those shoes, sitting down, and then tried to stand up in those shoes, I would fall and break a hip, more than likely. So kudos to Stevie for rocking the high heel shoes as well as everything else. Catch one of these two videos coming up next to keep the classic rock love flowing, and as always, remember to keep rocking.